Okay, um, hello everyone, welcome back, people of the world. Today I thought I'd talk about something a bit different. Um, yesterday in the BP on the news there was an announcement of the Copley Medal Award, okay? For 2021. This is the Royal Society's highest award, the world's oldest science prize, and arguably the world's most prestigious. I think it is, but it's not everyone's going to agree with that. Um, it was given to Dame Jocelyn Bell for the discovery of um, Brunel for the discovery of pulsars, okay? Which are stars that spin very fast and they complete revolutionized astronomy since the 60s when she discovered them. She didn't actually get a Nobel Prize for it though. This is her, okay? This is um, Jane, Dame Jocelyn Bell Brunel, okay? She's won the Royal Society's highest prize. Okay, um, the reason I mention this is because I've had a bit of slight bit of input into this. Um, so, yeah, it's it is arguably the world's most prestigious prize. Unlike the Nobel Prize, the, the Nobel Prize just that goes to chemistry. Okay, it goes to physics, and it goes to human physiology and health. Okay. Physiology and health. Sorry, human physiology and medicine. But the Copley Medal goes to everything. It goes to all sciences: chemistry, physics, geology, botany, plant sciences, animals, zoology, ecology, marine biology. It goes to everything: mathematics, and it alternates every year. But, but biological and physical. So this year is physics. Last year was biological. Went to Sir Alan first. Next year will be biological again. Um, it's gone to some of the greats in history, like Gauss, the, the great mathematician, and Darwin, and Einstein, and Crick and Watson. Okay. Um, I when I I came about about 2012. I was doing search on the internet I came across this and I wrote to the president Sir Paul Nurse and said why didn't you publicise the copy medal much more to help science funding and just help publicise science research. He wrote back saying they were going to do this and try to give a much higher profile. That's my input into it. Um, so yeah I mentioned uh, how it's so sort of, it goes to all sciences. So I th the reason I think it's more prestigious is because if you're an astronomer, you're competing against mathematicians and chemists and physicists and engineers and geologists and computer sciences. There's a lot more competition to get it. That's why I think it's a bigger deal. But I think the eminence of winners is higher than the Nobel Prize. So I did look up recently some of the past winners of the Copley Medal, going back to this the 1700s and 1800s to see if there's anything that was um, particularly still used because in science ideas often get replaced and overturned for example one time we thought the earth was the center of the universe and the sun went around it now we know that the sun that now we know the, the earth orbits the sun and the sun is just one star amongst the galaxy of billions in the universe of billions of galaxies okay so ideas get replaced and they return. I did look up some stuff. Um, you know that I've the thermometer with a maximum and a minimum, that won it. And the discovery that 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 that's that's that oranges and lemons that that citrus fruit are good for health, won it, okay? I hope you can see this with the pen, it's a bit thick. These won it. Another winner was the blood pressure was the blood pressure equipment um, that your, your physician uses when you go to your GP to take blood pressure, that won it. And lightning conductors won it. Light 
You know the lightning conductors in buildings. Okay. And electricity is actually one of our 16. There's one about 16 since the first one in 1731. Okay. So, yeah. And last but not least, just as a quick um, dangerous thing, you know, in your A-level maths, an advanced higher maths, This is mass, okay? Not high grade, I think, anymore, but A-level and advanced higher. You know matrices, um, and you have one, two, three, zero, okay? But we'll call that M, okay? I've written this back to front. So when you have matrices, okay? When you work out the determinant, the determinant of a matrix, okay? which is equal to 1 times 0 minus 3 times 2. So 1 times 0 minus 3 times 2 minus 3 times 2, okay? Which equals 0 minus 3, which equals minus 3, okay? This you use to determine um, if the inverse exists, okay? But this idea of determinant, this was discovered by Arthur Cayley in the 19th century, okay, and he won the Copley Medal. He didn't actually win it for determinants, he won it for his mass work, he did a lot, but, but he discovered mass determinants, okay. So, Hope you've um, find that interesting. Um, please like and subscribe, and um, please like, subscribe, and support my channel. Comment, press the bell, help me get to 50 subscribers, and uh, have a good day.